Hey everybody, Lemony Vengeance here. Today I'm going to do a quick how-to video with you guys on how to solder the 20-pin header onto the PS360 Plus. Now, a member of the Shorewright Yukon forums had asked me uh, in a personal message that it would be nice to get a quick how-to on how to do this. And uh, anybody that's familiar with through-hole soldering uh, should know exactly how uh, simple this, this can be. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick primer on how to do it. As you can see, it drops in really, really nice. comes back out pretty quick, too. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in place. And then we're going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it over right here so you can see what exactly I'm doing. So I'll put it in place and flip it over. Now, as you can see, the pins kind of pop out. So what you want to do when you're soldering this into place is to apply a little bit of pressure while you're soldering. And we're going to tack this side on uh, to the PS360+. Plus. Uh, let's see if I can bring this up a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tack these in here really quick, just on this side. So, as with all soldering, you need to make sure that your ironer's hot and that your tip is clean. I'm shaking off and cleaning off my tip right now. So you apply just a little bit of solder onto the tip right there. And you apply it to the through hole right here. So heat up the surface first and then apply the solder. And you can see that went in pretty pretty easily. Now I'm gonna tack on the other side and show you the, uh, the, the solder joints itself. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Apply the heat and then put the solder down onto it that way. So, And you should be able to see, let's see if it can get focused in on it, some nice solder there. Now you'll see that this one right here has balled up a little bit. That's what's called a cold solder joint. It means that I didn't apply enough heat. So I'm going to apply a little bit more heat and allow it to... Uh, get to the point where it's it's good to go so I might have put a little bit too much solder on there and that's fine just make sure that it doesn't look like a little ball where you went to solder it so now that we have it tacked into place you can continue to do the rest and once you get in a groove it's pretty easy as you can see. For those of you who have never soldered before, through hole soldering is probably the best way to begin. It's super easy. Um, it's very forgiving if you mess up. And it's the most accessible. There's lots of through hole soldering that can uh, go on and occur in just about any application, most of the stuff that you get is through hole soldering. Um, surface mount is a little bit more complex and challenging, uh, but once you get the hang of it, you should be good to go. All right. So what you do, you heat up the location that you want to solder onto, and then just flow the solder onto it. All right. Just about done. Also, if you've never worked with solder before, there's going to be a lot of fumes. Make sure that you have a fan running somewhere to get those nasty fumes out of your face.
All right. Check that out. Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. You know, you notice? Oh, you might be able to see it. There's a little bit of a a gap between the, the board and the bottom of the header itself right here. That should be fine. You don't have to worry about that. As long as the pins have made contact, you should be fine. So, and that's pretty much it. Now, sometimes you'll get headers that have keys in them. This header right here is a right angle header. So it's meant to fit at an angle. Sometimes you'll get headers that have right angles on them. Other times the headers will be flat. Um, it's very important that if you get a vertical keyed header like this, that you put it in with the notch pointing towards the um, directional inputs. That way it'll make sure that pin one is right here on this side uh, for the cable. And you'll, you'll know what one is pin one by the red wire here on the side. So uh, if you guys have any other questions or if you want me to do any other videos, uh, you can hit me up on the Shore You Can forums. My forum name uh, is Lemmy Vengeance. You can also hit me up uh, by messaging me via YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Lemony Vengeance, and uh, on Facebook as well. It's facebook.com forward slash Lemony Vengeance. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, and uh, happy modding.